This introduces a function added to Excel built-in filtering function. This function is designed to filter horizontally and is considered as effective especially when data table consists of columns much more beyond window view range. For this purpose, a dialog is designed to help filter horizontally and the program is made into Excel add-in. Excel filter function is to filter data vertically. To filter data, select cells. Go to data tab on the ribbon, press filter button in the sort and filter group. This turns on filtering for the selected cells. Then click the arrow in the column header where you want to filter data. Excel sort and filter dialog is activated under the column header. Dialog window lists unique items in the ascending order. Select items to narrow down the data in the worksheet. Follow the steps to install an add-in named filter heading. Choose file then options, and click the add-ins tab. Choose Excel add-ins from the Manage drop-down list and then click Go. Click the Browse button on the add-ins dialog. Locate and double-click the add-in filter heading XLAM. The add-ins dialog box displays the add-in in its list and displays the descriptive information. Click OK to close the dialog box. The add-in is installed. On the ribbon, a new tab named Think Smart is created with a new button column filter. Now, we are discussing how to filter horizontally using a new Excel add-in. Go to New tab Think Smart and press a button column filter in the utility group. A dialog titled Filter Columns shows up at the window left. Enter the row number having columns on the dialog. All unique column names are listed down. Select items inside the dialog window, to narrow down the columns in the worksheet. We are discussing briefly how to design user form and lay it out. Insert user form module. Give user form name and enter the caption representing the user form function in the properties window. To show user form toolbox, click the user form in the visual basic editor window, go to view tab press toolbox in the shortcut menu. Select required controls on the toolbox and drag inside the user form. One text box for the row number. One frame to contain checkbox and list box. One checkbox for select all or deselect all. One list box listing down all unique column names. Two command buttons. Callback procedure handles the followings. Regional date format is returned via date format procedure function. All the standard window controls are back to default condition. The button on the ribbon is of toggle button type. If the button is pressed, then modeless user form shows up at the left of window. Text box event procedure is triggered when the row number is entered. UF underscore load procedure is called to do the followings. Read all column names of the selected row and store in an array. Find unique column names and sort in the ascending order via Mizard procedure. List down all unique column names in the list box using list box add method. Checkbox event procedure is to select all or deselect all from the list box. Looping through all the list items, from list count 0 to list count minus 1, select all or deselect all the list items using selected property equal to true or false. Filtering selected columns are implemented by pressing OK button to call column filter procedure. The filtering is made by hiding the unselected columns by looping through all the columns of the selected row. The Ribbonx custom user interface is created using custom UI editor. For more detail, view another video in my channel titled How to make your own Excel add-ins with Ribbonx custom UI. Tab is labeled Think Smart and group is labeled Utility. A toggle button is used with its attributes as follows. Label is column filter be displayed for the control in the ribbon. Size is large. On action is linked to toggle button one click procedure in standard code module to run when the toggle button is pressed or not. Image MSO is equals file manage menu as the button image. In summary, we have reviewed Excel built in filter function designed for filtering vertically. There is no horizontal filtering function in Excel. Horizontal filtering may help when you have many columns, for example, 
horizontal timeline for extensive period. The Excel add-in we have discussed is to filter columns. While to filter data in rows, we may well use Excel built-in filter function. Lastly, thanks for your time and hope that this would be of some use.